Welcome. We need to celebrate. You guys did it. I've got 5,000 followers. Yay! Isn't that fabulous? I'm pretty excited. So thank you to each and every one of you for following. Next, remember, we are the world. We are the people. We are the da 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 There's a whole video about it. And I think it's produced by Quincy Jones and who Lionel Richie is the narrator and it's called The Greatest Night. What is it called? The Greatest Night in Pop. And it's on Netflix and I it's so good. It's so delightful. And you're going to find out the whole story behind that song. And remember they had all of these singers from uh, who, I mean, everybody you can think of was there. And you see what what went into making the whole show and you hear them practicing and not practicing and um, having fun and putting, you know, people together and Cindy Lauper and who else? It was just everybody. Really good. And um, who was, who? But anyway, just watch it. You'll smile, you'll enjoy it, and um, it's a little bit of history. I need to tell you something. Remember the, I told you to watch that show, The New Look, and I thought it was all about Christian Dior, and that it was, well, first of all, I just saw the promo, and the promo was a woman in a beautiful, um, in that beautiful, it was a suit, it was that light uh, top that was cinched in in the waist and the dark uh, long skirt. Well, so I thought it was all about fashion. Surprise! It isn't. It's about the the um, Nazi Germany and their um, um, and them being in uh, in Paris and they're taking over Paris and taking over France. So it's about the resistance, about the Nazis, the Germans, and the designers. So they had Dior, Chanel, Balenciaga, and so interesting. So Dior's sister was in the resistance and it's all about, there's a lot about his sister. And in fact, there's a whole book about her called Miss Dior. Remember, there's also that Miss Dior uh, uh, cologne. So uh, Christian Dior was devoted to his sister. And I've only seen, uh, I think, one or I think maybe I've seen two episodes. So it's not just about clothing. It's about the war, the resistance, and, and the Nazis in France. Just wanted to warn you and let you know that I didn't know what I was talking about when I recommended it. But now you want, might want to think about it. But it is fascinating to me, the whole story of what went on there and Chanel and the way she, well, I won't tell you. You have to watch it. Okay, then um, I, you remember I was telling you in, the, in my, um, my recommendations about the, the uh, skincare I used, well, so I've started using this Shiseido uh, clarifying cleansing foam, and I was very happy with it. But I also remember, remembered I used to use this brush. So the brush is $25, but I used to use it every night, you know, years ago when I just used the Shiseido, the whole kit and caboodle of Shiseido. But I started using this and I don't know if it's my imagination, but you put, so you put just a drop of the cleanser on this and, you know, rub it on your face. And the first time you can feel it, it's really soft, but I, I've got sensitive skin so I can feel it. But it, 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 it does clarify my face. But I don't know if this is my imagination or not, but, I, you know, it just seems to be, um, it just seems to look more sparkly and clean. Well, not clean, but it, it, it seems to be whiter. It takes off maybe a layer of skin without it being that rough. And so I don't use it every night. Maybe I use it every other night or every third night. But this little brush with this cleanser really seems to take off a layer of, of you know, kind of dead skin. So I wanted to let you know about that. And while we're talking about that, 
I also mentioned uh, May Coop. Isn't that the funniest name? So it's called May Coop Raw Sauce. And after I after I use the clarifying lotion, I then put on this May Coop Raw Sauce. I love it. And it, some people have said they thought it was too thick. I don't know how you can have water be too thick, but it's it, it's it feels slippery. And I love the way my skin feels after I wash my face and I put this on. And um, I love this stuff. And I got this because um, Kathy Perdue, she's got a website and I think it's called Kathy Perdue. She's a decorator and she puts all sorts of beautiful, beautiful um, designs together. So Kathy Perdue uh, touted me on this and she was right. Um, and I think this is, this is either Japanese or I'm not quite sure, or it's Korean, but it's, I love this. And it's, I know maybe it's $15. It's really, it's well-priced. Oh, you're going to get a kick out of this. You know, Shiseido has these wonderful cotton, instead of cotton balls, these, these cotton pads and they feel so good and they're so expensive with if you buy them from Shiseido. I know, I think Nicole Johnson was saying she only buys them on sale when Sephora has a sale. Well, these are called, these are, these are not, these are not Shiseido. They're, who are, there's, they're, um, they're called Selena and I can't read the rest of it, but I'll put it in, you know, the, the, uh, the show more. And these are great, great price. And it feels so good on your skin. They are so amazingly soft. I wish I'd kept the top on, but I didn't. But it's a, um, a I guess it's a dupe, or it's a less expensive dupe of the uh, Shiseido cotton pads. Cotton pads that feel so good. They're wonderful. So I, 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 I put, sometimes I just put the raw sauce on it and just, it feels just so good to put it all over my skin. I highly recommend this. Okay, this is funny. I'm recommending a square-shaped uh, case for your iPhone. The newest, chicest thing is to have a square, you know, a square 90-degree angle case. That's very in. In fact, you know who has one? Ta-da! Yes, yes, Taylor Swift. She's got one. She picked one that I didn't like, though. It's kind of pearlized. I think it's kind of dorky looking. Um, I've got one, and it's bright, bright, bright pink. And the reason it's bright pink is because um, my I'd, I'd used up this lime green one that I had, and they didn't have any. And But they have some... My husband's got tortoiseshell. My... The other one they had was a black leather looking but I know that it would go into my purse and be into a deep dark hole and I'd never be able to find it <clears throat> I'd never be able to find it that's why I like the bright pink because I can find it these days I don't have anything black in my purse everything's got to be a bright color so I, in fact my wallet is a lime green everything's got to be bright so I can find it old eyes Maybe. If you're on Instagram, there's, first of all, there's a website and, not a website, there's a page and it's about the way people dress in Milan and walk down the street. These people are so chic. You cannot believe it. We look like such slobs. They are so divine looking. The men as well as the women are fabulous looking. I remember um, I went to have my teeth cleaned and the woman who did it said that she'd spent, I don't know, six months in Italy. And before she would go to lunch, you know, in America, she'd go to lunch in her, her uniform. But in Italy, she'd always change her clothes, put on something very chic, and then go to lunch. Well, that's the way these Italians dress. They are fabulous. Well, there's a website of a man and his name is Capucci and it's Capucci Hair Milan. Again, I'll put it in the show more. Well, he does such wonderful hair of women in Milan and most of them are women of a certain age, you know, kind of like our age. 
and they look so chic and nothing is is plastered down everything is has movement and feeling and he it's it's a re I love watching him cut hair and he kind of goes like this and he he just makes women look fabulous so I I recommend that you um, find him and watch him and follow him I I was scrolling through uh, Instagram and I found this woman who looked fabulous. She didn't have any makeup on. She didn't have any, um, she was bare skinned, but she was showing how she put, she hides her, her, um, the dark circles under her eyes. And I was fascinated by her. So I looked her up and her name, let's see if any of you remember her, Val Garland. She used to be, well, she still is a wonderful makeup artist and she was with Harper's Bazaar and I recommend you follow her. So her name on uh, Instagram is the Val Garland and she's a woman, well, she's young. She's in her seventies or a young 70 or 65, 70. And it doesn't look like she's done anything to her face. You see wonderful lines, but the way she, her style, her flair, that's another woman I'd recommend you, you watch. Um, speaking of under eyes, so I was, uh, the other day I was, um, I was, I was putting on my makeup, you know, how seldom of me. And I don't know, I just couldn't get things to look the way I wanted them to be, to look under my eyes. So there's a makeup artist that I adore and her name is um, Rose Gallagher. And in fact, she's going to be visiting uh, in about, uh, I think the end of March. And she's been here before and uh, just a lovely, lovely human being and wonderful makeup artist. And so I was talking to her about my under eyes and she recommended It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Now, I don't see anybody talking about it and I'm not sure why. Um, it is kind of thick. I use a brush with it. It's, um, and, may, and it comes in different colors. It is thick, you know, and you can't, a little goes a long way, but boy, it seems to really do a great job. So this is what I've been using lately. And now I, the one I'm using is probably the lightest. What's this, it comes in colors and this one is 10.5 light. And give it a try. Uh, you know, they advertise, I haven't looked at It Cosmetics because um, I was annoyed because if I tried their CC cream or BB cream, whatever cream it was, it was always too yellow for me and I couldn't wear it. So I was annoyed with them. But, uh, you know, they've got this and this works and I'm giving it a second try. So try this for those dark circles. And I put, maybe I should do a demonstration because I put it on and then I brush it so that it's just ever so um, light and then I use my my powder and I put powder on so that it 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 doesn't move and it doesn't crease so my suggestion um, bye bye under eyes by it cosmetics these are so much fun I have got a package of five and they're all different colors I'm not gonna put this on because it's gonna mess up my hair but th this is a headband you know when you wash your face when you put on makeup and it really works and you look I made my husband walk by and said how cute I looked so I wear this kind of with a bow on the side and it's a great it's great for when you um, as I say put makeup on wash your hair uh, it, put makeup on or wash your face. Uh, it keeps your hair uh, out of your face. And I like this because I think it's cute and it's funny. I, again, I'll put it down below. And this, now this is funny. You know how everybody says that you should use a, um, what kind of, what kind of material is this? It's that very soft material. I can't think of the name right now. Um, but I, when I ordered it, they say that you should, instead of using a towel, you should use a, a towel like this to dry your hair because it absorbs so much water. And I used it today and this is still damp. So it does absorb a lot of water. But when I ordered it, I thought it was a big square towel that, you know, you made into a turban. No. So I looked at this and I'm thinking, I don't know how to put it on. And it took me a couple of tries before, see, they've got these teddy bears in the back. 
you put this on the back and then you 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 twist it like a turban and there's a little wait a second there's a little string or elastic and you attach it to this so i finally figured out how to put i'm not good at this three-dimensional how you put it on thing but it works and it um takes most of most of the moisture out of your hair and you're not making it frizzy so again this is something i i use all the time now very happy with it very happy now especially since i figured out how to put it on you would think it was some obviously um i didn't study physics so i I bought some products at a beauty supply store and I needed to return them because I bought the wrong thing, blah, blah, blah. And so in returning it, I needed to get something else. And I said, well, I need something that is really good for my dry hair. And they said, so this is called 10 and it's called, it's a 10, does 10 things instantly, nourishes hair, thermal protector, detangles, helps protect hair color, restores shine, helps reduce frizz, natural UV protection, helps replace lost pro proteins, enhances hair natural body, uh, prevents split ends, and it washes your dishes. So you know what? This is really good. So I've been using this uh, at least a couple of times, and um, it kind of takes the place of three or four products. And I love that it's a thermal protector, and nourishes hair. I can take all the nourishing a person can nourish in their hair. Oh, there's a movie and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was going to be scary, but it's called When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit and it's on Amazon Prime and it's really a positive movie. So that's a, a good movie to watch. I usually don't like watching anything about um, uh, you know, Germany and Nazis and stuff like that. And it's about a family and it, it was 1933 and how they had to leave Germany and their saga of going from one country to another. But the, there was a, a daughter that was just delightful. And I think it was her first acting job, but she was delightful. So it was a, it, it was actually a treat. It was a pleasure to watch it. And how many pleasures do you find these days? So it's a good one. Let's see. Oh, there's also, um, there's a shampoo. And of course I forgot to bring it. There's a new shampoo that I'm using and it's called Lido and it's D-O-U. And it kind of takes all the um, bad things out of your hair and kind of refreshes it. I have really enjoyed it. I've been using it a lot. Oh, I, and I'm going to put, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to do, do it. Um, I'm going to, um, have a video of that blouse, uh, you know, the, the Chico's blouse that fits so well. I'm not sure if you see it, then I did it. If you don't see it, I didn't do it. Hi there. So I wanted to show you another outfit that I love wearing. Now the, I'm wearing the, the jeans are by Chico's and they're a slim cut. The shoes are Arche and they're very old. The shirt is also by Chico's, and it's one of those no iron, slim fit uh, shirts that are fabulous, and it fits right where it needs to fit. And let's see, oh, it now, oh, and the, the, the vest, which I wear almost all the time these days, is by Uniglow, and I love it. It's reasonably priced, love it. And now this is something. So this purse is actually a basket that I turned into a purse, and I want to suggest that you find a basket, turn it into a purse, and it makes your outfit look very je ne sais quoi. So you know I love my Sobral bracelets, right? And I get them on eBay. So I think by adding some individuality to blue jeans and a white shirt, be they bracelets, a basket, it really elevates the look and you can go anywhere. I'm looking around to see if I'm missing anything. I hope not. Oh, so Masters of the Air. Remember I told you about that? It's the Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks series. Well, it's, it's harder than I thought. It's all about the Americans joining Britain during World War II and about how these planes 
flu in World War II, and it's both sad and realistic, and um, it was interesting to see, boy, these these young boys, a lot of them died. It was it was it was it was very moving. So, if you're into World War II, if you're curious about what it was really like for some of our American boys flying in World War II, um, I recommend it. It's very realistic. At the same time, it's shot beautifully. The special effects are wonderful. Uh, there was a way of fighting in those days. They had, they had bombers at different levels. There was the highest ones, the middle and the lowest, and the Americans flew during the day, so that was the most dangerous. And they, you know, they because of the flak, it's very realistic and it's very, it's very moving. So I didn't know about it, you know, when I first recommended it, but I think I'm enjoying it more than my husband because I'm learning so much. Uh, let's see, have I reached everything? I think, oh, and then I want to tell you about um, a blog, and it's by Candace Seema, who's w wonderful. She's on TikTok, Instagram, all over the place. But she wrote a blog, uh, and it's called Life in My 70s. And it's about grief and about sad times in our lives. And it's so beautifully written. I'll, I'll put the link in the show more. It was just um, I'm almost speechless as to how moving it is, how touching it is, how beautifully she writes. So she's a beautiful woman, woman both physically, she, oh my goodness, she exercises and does yoga and she eats properly, better than properly. She eats tons of vegetables and she's gorgeous and she writes beautifully and she speaks beautifully. She's, she's, quite the person. So I'm going to, I'll give you the, the link to that, um, that uh, blog that I really recommend everybody read. It's very touching. And I think that's it for today. So thank you so much. I am so excited to reach 5,000 followers. It's, you know, it's, I don't know if you guys know, but it's hard being a YouTube um, creator. It takes a lot of work, a lot of time. I've told people, it's like a full-time job. By the time you film and then you edit and then you promote your work, it's, it, it's a pleasure, it's fun. I enjoy doing this, but at the same time, it's a lot of work. And so it's wonderful to have it recognized by 5,000 people. I thank you all very much. Thank you, truly appreciate it. So I think that's it for this week and, um, I'll see you. Oh, and I'll see you next week. Okay? Great. Thank you again. And remember, yes, to follow, to pre press the like button, and to get notified of when um, I post next time. I know I haven't been. I used to do it every morning, a Sunday morning, and just hasn't been happening. Life gets in the way. Things happen. I, I try and do it as best as I can. But as I say, kind of life happens and it just, time kind of fritters away or things happen. Like our water heater broke today and our furnace broke last Friday. Uh, so it's, you know, water heaters, um, uh, uh, therm, uh, what else? Something else happened. I think, oh, and our Wi-Fi went down and there was one more thing. Um, just stuff gets in the way but I always try and be here for you. So thank you. I'll see you soon.